Good morning everyone. So I've done a horrible job of vlogging my time here in Greece, so I thought I'd bring you guys along for a field study trip. So the program that I went on, I went on college year in Athens, and essentially they have three field study trips embedded within their program. So that means that there's three times throughout the semester that you go on like trips. Some of them are on the weekend, some of them are like a whole week. You go to different areas in Greece. So I think we went to Delphi, Crete and Peloponnese. Peloponnese is the last one, which is the one I vlogged. That was a whole week. So I think we left on a Tuesday and we didn't come back to like Saturday or like early Friday, something like that. So as you do register for like classes, you also register for like field study groups. And it's on your group, you each have a different itinerary. You hit up different spots within the area they're visiting. So for mine, we went to like honey farms, we went to museums of like, they call it costumes, but essentially like traditional clothing and stuff like that. So my, what you're about to see is my experience in Peloponnese within my field study trip. And we also did like olive oil tasting and stuff like that. So hope that was clear and helps you understand why I'm taking a whole week off of learning <laughs> to go learn on site. <music> Finish. Where are we actually? Can you please Olympia. tell my audience? Oh, we're at Olympia. The ancient site of Olympia where the original Olympic Games happened. One of the seven wonders of the ancient world, right over there. Not anymore. Not anymore. <laughs> But of course, as Americans, we're not getting Greek food. We're getting Chinese food. So I'm excited. I'm thinking about getting rice noodles. I don't know. So many options. So many options. What do you think about getting, Katie? I think I might do the rice noodles with vegetables. <gasps> we're the same. With vegetables. Like you eat what Kalimera everyone, we are currently waiting at the costume museum, I believe. Point is, I fucking fell last night. So now I have ice pack brought to you by Greece. But yeah. How, Nicole, come here. There when I fell. Can you describe how you felt? Bro, I heard a yelp and a shriek and a bang. <laughs> Great sounds. And I jumped up and I realized you were naked, so I could not help. Oh, I felt getting out the shower. Damn, that was part of it. So now my under boob, this might be TMI, like right here is hurting. No bruising though, so. Connie, how are you feeling knowing that your friend just fell? I was a little concerned because she texted me, it was like 12 a.m. saying <laughs> I fell. And I asked her if she was okay and then she never responded until the next day. <laughs> really? I'm so sorry, that does sound like me. Alright, we're moving in. Just finished lunch. Nicole got eight months to go. 
and we're gonna go souvenir shopping. And then she gave me an extra scoop for free, and I was like, "What was I like, Katie? What? What was my reaction when she gave me the extra scoop?" She was like, "No, no, I don't want to buy another scoop. It's free." <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm gonna cry. First destination of the day. I have my assistant with me. <laughs> Not my assistant. <laughs> but yeah. We're gonna explore now for 30 minutes or so. Bro, look how pretty. Actually insane. Temporary roommate. She's no longer my roommate after tomorrow. We're still friends. We're still friends. This is my <laughs> friend, Nicole. Yeah. This is my temporary roommate. <laughs> 